what's up guys and welcome to the channel today we're going to go pick up everything that we need for the fusion build all right guys we are going to head to lowe's right now I'm going to go pick up a few things that we need to do this build with and uh, as always I'll try to put links down in the description for you guys so that you can pick it up and do it yourself. Let's get a cold start on the Fox body. Guys I tell you sometimes a B cam just sounds so good. Today is one of those days. Let's hit the road, go get some parts. Little hustle standard to start the morning. Let's do this. Well, all right guys here we go this will be your fusion build so right in front of you here i'm sure you probably can't see this but uh this is the receipt from lowe's from earlier before we get started in this build we're going to change it up a little bit we're actually going to try to make this maybe a little shorter a little taller or something just a little different it may even go super small like that first off you have to decide what length you want your pipe to be i want to keep this one fairly short let's look inside of this one real quick yeah we can go we can go a lot shorter actually make it as compact as possible this is what we've got today we've got a different adapter we've got one that just slides over this and hopefully we can keep this thing super short like that and really compact and it will work I'm not 100 percent sure this thing could overheat um it could just not be enough room inside of here but we are going to try it nonetheless the first step is obviously we're going to have to drill through uh both sides of this see now it's super thick instead of just one side now we have to drill through both so i'm going to go ahead and glue this up and we're going to start this thing so we're just going to use a little bit of pvc glue here We have got that glued down so now we just need to let it dry and this is all i'm using it's just an all-purpose sealant you know we're not trying to do house plumbing here this is just something you know to, to hold a little bit of air and it doesn't need to leak so next up i'll come in and we'll start to put our holes in so that we can get our bolts in and get this wick started So I'm sure you're gonna uh, hear a lot of noise in the background. That's just everybody still trying to clean up from this hurricane. So sorry, I apologize in advance, but I'm sure you guys completely understand. This is just a little pack of, of bolts that I got from uh, Lowe's. And all I'm gonna do is just come in with two of these, thread them in through the side, and we should be good to go. Okay, so this is just a little cheap micrometer from uh, Harbor Freight. You don't have to use this you can use anything you want to a measuring tape whatever you got laying around all i'm going to do is just try to keep my um, screw holes the same let's 
go ahead and get our wick out. Sorry, I've got you on the chest mount again. Obviously, um, it's really hard to film. Believe it or not, what you're going to have to do is fold this wick so that it's snug inside of here, but still has enough length to go down to the bottom. Give yourself a little bit of extra so that it can touch the bottom. You can always trim that up later. It doesn't have to be perfect. Get our wick back down again. And there we go. So that will work. So that's what it's going to look like, guys. It's just going to kind of sit in here and wedge itself against these two bolts that are coming in. So now the next step is, since you know your length, you know where you're at, the best thing to do now is go ahead and just mark your edges. And you basically want to keep your wire in between those two black marks. That's all it is. This is what I'll be using, the 26 gauge stainless steel wire. Uh, this is for vaping. You can get this in vape shops. You can order it online. I'll put a link down below for you guys if you want to purchase it. And essentially it ohms out to... Two point five, two point four. It's going to change a little bit once we hook it all up. See, the trick with this is to keep it somewhere around two ohms. You know, two to three ohms because at two ohms and twelve volts, which is obviously what our cars are at twelve volts, this is going to pull somewhere around seven amps or so. So here are our marks, and what we're going to do is we have to leave ourselves a little bit of room here, obviously, so that we can attach to the the bolt over there. And you are simply just going to wrap your way around. You know I'm too generous. Now I've learned to never help you out. Cause I'm done cleaning up your mess. Found myself in my As you shorten this wire and say you clip off, you know, that amount there and some over here on this side as you do that you're going to lower your ohms i tell you what guys change of plans here um i did this on the other one and i remember now um we're going to drill these holes out a little bigger that way you can push the bolts in from the inside because it is easier to uh wrap the wire around the head of the bolt and then push the bolt through the inside i'll show you what i'm talking about in just a second And don't worry about the bolt actually being loose because we're gonna seal that up with a rubber grommet. So we'll seal it up from the outside. You know that this is going to bend about right there because that's where your mark is. So at this point, all you want to do is just give this thing a couple of wraps. Don't have to get too crazy with it. Just get the wire around the bolt like that. Okay, and do the same thing on the other side. Then all you have to do is go ahead, fold it, put it in. You can snug everything else back up in just a minute. Put that in. Put that in. Looks to be pretty good. The coals don't have to be perfectly spread apart or anything like that. So now at this point, what we're going to do is take a couple rubber grommets. Now you can get these from Harbor Freight. That's where I purchased these. They're not made to seal up leaks, but that's what we're going to use them for today. So um, you just take one of these, you're just gonna slide it over the outside here and do the same thing on the other side. And believe it or not, that's all you need to do. And then once you tighten everything up, you'll be good to go. Okay, so these are gonna be our rubber grommets on the outside that seal everything up for us. Now what we have to do is set up our wire. So in this next clip, I was originally gonna show you how to build your own custom leads, but I forgot to order the clamps so i don't have those in here so what we did was just go back pull the leads off of the old mr fusion and put it on the new one so there will be a link down below for these cables all you have to do is snip off the cigarette lighter attachment put your own connectors on the end of this and you'll be good to go now i will put a link down below for you to order this that already has the connections on the end of it we got that out of the way now what we have to do is drill in for our air supply and our air out that's really easy to do I'll show you right now just take a step up bit once again you get it from harbor freight just come in anywhere you like honestly okay guys all you have to do is get the hole started it will make its own threads and you'll be good to go just tighten this up and like i said it should make its own threads as you can see 
on the inside here tighten this down if it does not seal up all you have to do is put some teflon tape or whatever you got around there all right same thing on this side now on this build you notice that i have two air hose connectors on this particular build and the reason why i did that is because it doesn't matter that hose will go over the air hose connector the same as it will any other one honestly these are cheaper so that's why i went with these look at that we are almost done i like to put a relief an air relief in the top over here so that's what we're going to do now is basically just put a hole in the top of this so that in case this thing gets too much pressure it can escape there again guys i know you know already but you do not have to worry about which side is which you can hook this thing up any way you want to as far as positive and negative goes either side it doesn't matter just pop it on so what do i use well it's just baby oil honestly or you can use mineral oil uh whatever you want put some extra down on the bottom that way it wicks itself up and doesn't dry out and burn up and that is it minus the hook up here at the top we pretty much have the exact same setup and we should be good to go now i do anticipate this thing leaking a little bit because it really needs some sealant across the top but uh for right now we're just going to tighten this thing down See if she works. I'm still smoking, feeling smart in my hotel. Better get it, get it, get it. It's nothing but smoke, nothing to smoke. It was nothing, it was nothing, it was nothing. She is smoking good, guys. She is smoking good. Pretty good bit of smoke, huh? And it's cool to the touch. So there's your proof. In case you were wondering how hot it is. So real quick before we go, I'll go ahead and introduce a vacuum leak into the car and we will check it with the new Mr. Fusion. We'll see if it works. The best thing to do on a Fox body is to use this hose right here that goes into the back of the intake. It just disconnects from the vacuum block over here. See that guys? That's just how easy this thing works. And of course, it's going to come out the throttle body, so that's why you see it over there. That's why you glove the throttle body or something like that. Here is the Mr. Fusion Mini 2.0, or whatever you want to call it. This thing works great. I absolutely love it. I thought I liked that one. I really love this one guys but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you found it useful and as always thanks for watching